YouTube, YouTube, what's going on with you? It's your boy 72 Grand Cool Boy back at you with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you know when I drop each and every video. How y'all doing today? As y'all can see, I'm doing something a little different. Y'all see my little. <laughs> it's my Grand Prix die cast model. Yeah, that's nice. Y'all also see my little disco thing. I know they like 72 and you at the club. Nah, guys, I'm at the crib. I'm at the crib. I just wanted to shoot something a little different in the house for you guys. So, this video is going to be about car talk, about my fleet. As you know, guys, I got a few cars um, in the fleet. And I want to talk about two today. And I think last year... Maybe around the middle of my videos, I said I was going to talk about this car right here, uh, the history of it, uh, where it came from, and how it was passed down to me. And then I'm going to talk about Angie Tangy, the, uh, the chop Monty. All right, so with no further ado, let's get to it, guys. So this car right here is near dear to my heart, okay? It's a 1972 Pontiac Grand Prix. It originally came with the Turbo 400. 400 cubic inch motor. My mom's bought the car brand new in 1972. Brand spanking new. I remember I was five years old standing next to that car. And uh, that car is near dear to my heart. All my other cars I would let go, but not this one. This is this is my baby. This is near dear, it has a lot of sentimental value to it. Um, my mom's, when she had it, she took care of it. Um, she never had any issues, no, no problems out of it. Then when she kind of, you know, got tired of it, you know, as we get older, we outgrow certain things. So she passed it down, um, to her husband, my dad, and, um, he had it, he took care of it, you know? And, um, I remember when me and him used to ride in it when I was younger, much younger, a little boy. And I remember sitting in the back seat, uh, when we all, well, we all was together in the family. We all was a family in it, going out in it. And I remember sitting in the back seat, looking out the back and looking at the the, uh, the fins on the trunk. And it reminded me of Batmobile. I thought I was all uh, robbing. Batman was my dad driving the car. <laughs> and I used to always fascinate about this car, guys. I used to say, one day I wish I had this car. Every time my dad worked on it, I always wanted to be around him while he was working on it, no matter what it was. I, I just was infatuated with this car when I was little and even now as a grown man. Every time I see it, it just, it just do something to me. Um, like I said, when my mom's had it, she, she drove it. She looked good in it while she was driving it. Uh, she never let nobody dog it. Uh, she rode us in it, my siblings, and uh, we all just enjoyed the car. Uh, back in the day. And then my dad got it and he enjoyed it too. Um, this car, if you guys don't know, was designed uh, by John DeLorean. GM uh, hired John DeLorean, I think as president of GM Designs, and John DeLorean designed this car. And a lot of people didn't don't know about that. Um, and the J stands for John. Uh, SJ stands for Super John. And there's no such thing, guys, for the, for the car guys that got Pontiacs out there. I know because I did my research and I've had this car for a long time. This car been in the family for 51 years. A lot of sentimental value in my 72. Uh, but the SJ stands for Super John and Pontiac never made a big block. All the blocks were the same. And there's no such thing as a Pontiac big block. The 350, I think they started with, was it a 307 maybe? 350, 389, 400, and the 455 all had the same size block. Okay, so you guys out there that think you know about Pontiacs, there's no such thing as a Pontiac big block. So the car originally came with a 400. Over years, I had... Uh, Big issues with that Pontiac. Too many issues I had with it. 
So I just got fed up and um, I went to a Chevy guy. I know. Pontiac guy's like, no, you didn't send me to. You put a Chevy in there? Shame on you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but I have a 454, a big block in it, and it just rides so much better. I don't have any little major issues. Nothing with throwing a rod, the rockers, the lifters, none of that. I can beat down on that Chevy and I enjoy it. I'm glad I switched over to a Chevy, guys. And there's still a few more upgrades I'm gonna do to it. Um, so in the near future, I'll get it done and I'm gonna bring you guys along and give you the good content so you can see the before and the after. All right? So let's go on to the next. And that is the Orange Monty. Y'all know her as Angie Tangy. Uh, it's a good story on this too. Uh, it originally is not an SS, it's a clone. It has SS parts on it, it's not a true SS. So I'm not gonna even front, I'm not that type of guy. I'm not gonna say I got a true SS, no, I'm not like that. I keep it real as possible. Uh, but it started off as an 82. And I bought it from an old coworker that I used to work with. His son did not want it. Okay, so I had a money before that, and the money I had before that got into a wreck. So, you know, us car guys, once you get an old school and you fall in love with it and something happened to it, you quick to get another one real quick. So, I was looking for another one on the hunt, and I came across him, and he told me, Hey, my son over here, man, he don't, he don't want it. Come get it, come get it. I said, For real. So I went over there. He didn't give me a price. He said a little nothing. So I get over there and I said, how much? Guys, he said $400. This was about close to 20 years ago. And I got it and I got it home and uh, just put my little touch on it. Reconstructed the way that I like to do my car. And it came out pretty good. Now, the top was not chopped then. Uh, it was it was standard. So me and my brother was sitting, my oldest brother, me and my brother was, was sitting out in the garage. And before, I'm gonna tell you guys this, we was we was just talking about how would a money look with a chop top or a convertible top on it. And at the time, to me, YouTube wasn't that popular like it is now. And I definitely uh, wasn't a YouTube fan or geek like I am now. So uh I said, hey bro, let's uh let's do something different. We sitting out in the garage and sipping on little brews. Uh nephew was too, and uh we like I said, let's let's chop this top, bro. You know, and there was we had a Zaza and uh <laughs> we started doing some measurements and did a little of this and did a little of that. Next thing you know, in an hour, hour and a half, that top was chopped and when and when I tell you guys and girls when I took that top off and at the time it wasn't orange didn't have the gray rally stripes on it or none of that and uh it just looked like a totally different car my brother was like wow my nephew was like wow I was like yeah and I had a smile like I had the, the joker smile and uh <laughs> To this day, I would never forget how we we just sat there and was chilling and just wanted to just cut the roof. And you guys can relate. You you car guys, old school guys, even some of you new car guys, you can relate. When you're around your fellas or whatever, around people that you enjoy, you come up with stuff like that, you know. And uh, pretty much everything else on the car, uh, you guys seen it in... in in, in the, uh, the TV when, when I put the 34 inch in there. Uh, pretty much what you see on the car, I, I did myself. Uh, me and my brother, we did the top together, so I'm not gonna take credit for all that. Um, Big bro uh, helped a lot on that. And um, I, I really appreciate that. But that car came a long way. Uh, I do wanna put an LS in it, do a swap or something. I thought about putting a, a big block in it, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, it has the old school 354 bolt main in it, so uh, I'm rocking with that right now. I am gonna take that Rochester carburetor off of there and um, go with either Quick Fuel or Holly or whatever. I just can't get into the Edelbrock. Y'all so have bad experience with Edelbrock carburetors and I, I stay away from Edelbrocks, but everybody, you know, got their own thing. 
all uh, Edelbrock uh, and Hollies and Demons and Rochesters, everybody, you know, like this and like that. So, and it teaches all. I, I ain't mad at nobody. Um, but the upgrades I want to do to that, uh, I want to upgrade the brakes. I like to go with four wheel discs all the way around, uh, maybe some uh, wild woods or whatever. And, you know, just, just give it a little modernized touch. And eventually, um, I thought about putting a little top on there, convertible top. Um, I tried uh, a few years back and uh, it, just, it was just a little off. It was a little off, so that didn't work. So um, I'm just going to leave it like that and ride chop and, um, you know, do my thing. I get a lot of compliments on it and whatnot, and they asked me who, who chopped the top. I said, hey, me and my bro chopped it. And it was like, man, would you chop mine? I said, nope. Because that that was some some serious stuff going on there. You really got to know what you're doing, and I, I really don't want to chop nobody top like that. So, uh uh, it's, it's just too much this, too much that. You got to make sure this is right. You got to make sure that is right, guys. Um, I like Angie. Uh, I guess I get certain vibes when I'm in that car compared to when I'm in the Grand Prix, when I'm in Lois and Eddie. Uh, but it's, um, it's totally different, guys. You know, when you're riding in the summertime, Sun beaming, it's 80, 90 degrees. You got the music playing and the whole roof is gone. Yeah. And you know, and your and your, and your drip is, is looking good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love riding in that in that in that chop top mine. Um I did want to put some doors, some Lambo doors on there. I did. I know a lot of people are like, man, don't put that on there, man. It's played out. No, it's not. Lambo doors are gonna never get played out. I don't, I don't know where y'all get that from. A Lambo door on cars make it look totally different. Look as sweet as heck. I'm telling you. Lambo door, especially on Vets, Mustangs, of course, Lambos. But old schools, depending on the body style, how it sit, a door up in the air just looks sweet. Just looks sweet. Oh, man. Guys, I got something that I'm going to do differently come this summer. Uh... I'm going to do some stuff out in the garage. It's going to be called Garage Talk. And I'm going to have certain episodes uh, on that. And I'm going to be, you know, talking about the ladies out there, the 72 and the, and the uh, 82. And uh, and I am getting stuff together. I am getting the parts together for Sherry, the 88 Fox body. Uh, I, I haven't forgotten about it. I know you guys like, dang, 72, what's up with Sherry with the LS? No, I'm just getting everything together before I do a nice video on it and bring it to you guys. So. I haven't forgot about you guys. Uh, I got to order a shifter. I think I'm going to go BM uh, for that. The old school BM, uh, I don't want that. They got a new one, a little more up to date, a little more modernized. I think I'm going to mess with that. And uh, uh, I do see the rounds I want to get, but that's going to be later on in the future. I want to go with some billet specialties on, on Sherry. So we'll see. Uh, how that panned out. Uh, so yeah, y'all stay tuned for that. And uh, we go from there, you know? So I'm not gonna hold you guys long. I just wanted to drop this little uh, kind of quick blog and let you guys know, give you the history on two of my old schools um, that are, they are, are dear, dear to my heart. All my old schools are special to me, but all of them have a different story. You know, I have a uh, Bronco, uh, O.J. Simpson. I have an O.J. Simpson. <laughs> uh, and it's just, yeah, O.J. is is, is O.J. <laughs> I got a story to tell y'all about that. Uh, and I got a, uh, a C-10 called a Stallion. My mom's named that truck, uh, the Stallion. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's special too. So, all that is coming soon, guys. So, look out for that. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. All right. Thank y'all for watching with your boy, 72. I want to continue to keep thanking y'all, my subscribers. Um, I did reach over 200. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, y'all stay doing what y'all doing. Love your family. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Keep them fake, toxic, negative.
people out your life. And your boy 72 is out.